Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. Have you ever made a project and thought to yourself, oh, this is really, really cool. But then a year, two years later, it's really failed on you. Well, that's exactly what this has done. This was a mailbox that I made uh, a couple years ago. I really loved it at the time. I painted it, did what I thought looked good with the shingles using cedar. And time took its toll. We went through snowstorms, some of the shingles fell off, the paint's now getting dingy, needs refixing. Also realized a couple different issues that I had with it. And so I'm gonna take some time to repair it. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so one of the biggest problems that I had with this thing was, we had somebody come into our house one time, they were looking for the numbers to the house, they couldn't find it. Can you see why? Can you see why now? Yeah, I put my numbers too high. My flag blocks the view of the numbers. So that's gotta be fixed. All of this stuff here, you can see all of the places where I put the nail. When I use plywood, this is just starting to get torn up. And the shingles obviously just taking its toll. They've weathered the way that cedar weathers and that's fine. It's just not looking all that pretty. Another problem that I've had are that the hinges have broken. Uh, this is the backside of the mailbox and as you can see, yeah, we've lost a lot few of them. Hinges are broken. This is actually rusted solid and it's just falling apart. So I'm gonna have to reconfigure some of the door, um, repaint some of the top. I've got some issues with some mold. It's of course getting some grime just from being outside as well. And actually some of the nails have even pushed itself out. So we're gonna start by taking all the shingles off and let's get this thing cleaned up a little bit. All right, I got all of the shingles off. I got it cleaned up as much as I can. And so now I've got all of these nasty shingles have pieces of wood stuck to it. And so what I found to be the easiest and quickest way is actually to very carefully run them through the table saw just to get them basically trimmed down to the thickness they originally were. And actually by doing so, I've found that they're not all consistent anyway. So this is kind of revitalizing them as well.
So it became very apparent to me that I was short some shingles. I either lost some or these things just shrunk down so much. So I had to recut some cedar and to make maybe three or four more for both sides. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. This mailbox really has turned out spectacular. Um, it's actually been a few weeks now and it's holding up really well. The rain hasn't faded any of the paint and this just looks so much better alongside the road. So guys, thank you for joining me on this journey of making this mailbox better. And I hope that maybe it inspired you to take something that maybe was falling apart and revamp it, make it look better and repair it. Now there was a complete build video of this mailbox and if you're interested in watching that please click the video next to me playing that video is the full build that i did several years ago and it's still a really cool video to watch so go check that video out and i'll see you next time right here in the workshop